OK, so let's have a look at combining criteria in filters. When you go to the filter area, you'll see there's AND, OR and NOT buttons. These allow us to combine criteria within the filter. Let's say we have a task where we want to see results only for women who live in the southern region. We have a circle representing women and another representing southern. To achieve the goal for this task, we're looking for where the two circles cross over. This section here, the women who live in the southern region, is achieved by using an AND statement. The other statements that we can use are the OR, and this will give us all the results for women and all the results for those who live in the southern region. So it's one criteria item or the other. And then finally we have the NOT statement. So we want to see the results for the women who do not live in the southern region. I'll show you how to create this in Asteroid. First of all, we add the first criteria item, which is women. We then go to Regions and highlight the second criteria item. Having highlighted Southern, we then click on either AND, OR, or NOT, depending on what we're trying to achieve with the results. For this statement, we'll put AND. So we're looking at Women and Southern. The ampersand indicates that it is an AND statement. And the STH indicates that it's using a data name rather than a description. Just to talk about that for a moment, Southern is the description for this group. If I right mouse click and go to Dictionary Item Properties, we have a data name of STH. The definition is something that you must not change. However, as previously, you can change the filter description. Having created that filter, I'll now delete it and tell you how to do an OR statement. Same process, we add the first criteria item, highlight the second, and then this time we'll use OR. For the OR statement, we have a plus and the brackets. And again, you can change the filter description. Finally, I'll use the NOT statement, so we want women in the southern region, and NOT. And it's very obvious that it is a NOT statement. The CHECK button will tell you a weighted count and unweighted count for the subset that you have just specified. It's useful to check that you have put your filter together correctly. For example, if it came with a very high or very low number, this may indicate to you that you haven't got the correct filter. It is possible to extend the filter out further. So for example, we may have women who live in the southern region and live in the capital cities of the southern region. So the area we would be looking at is this, where they cross over. To do this in Asteroid, we add the first group, and the second group, and then the third group. So you can see you have two AND statements and three groups. Be aware when you're creating combined or extended filters that the ampersand for AND or the plus and brackets for OR are in the correct place. So you can see here that we have two ampersands indicating two AND statements. It is possible to go into the definition and type an OR instead, but you will need to be careful that brackets are also included. The filters can be reasonably complex, However, you must be very careful with the ampersands, the plus, the brackets, etc. You'll also need to use the data names rather than descriptions.